Hi, my name is Noemi and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome in and don't forget to subscribe and join us. So today guys, I want to show you nine, yeah, nine uh, perfumes that are great for this spring. I added a little bit of everything. There's some designer, there's some affordables, there's some niche as well. So yeah. And there's also like different type, you know, patchouli, fruity, laid back, flowerly. Yeah, I added a little bit of everything. So let's get started. So the first perfume I have on my list is Rouge by Narciso Rodriguez. So this one, guys, main notes are musk, iris, and roses. To me, I'm just gonna spray it really quick. To me, it smells very like powdery, musky, rose, vanilla. That's how it smells like. It kind of smells like makeup in a way. It's super romantic, it's super elegant, it's like a woody sun scent, and it's a little bit thick. For spring, it's super romantic. I think the bottle is like perfect description of the scent inside. It's like very powdery, kind of makeup y and romantic. So, Narciso Rouge. All right, so the next perfume on my list is a perfume that I'm obsessed with. Guys, it's in number one contender to become my new signature perfume, actually. And it is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme by Killian. So, this is a niche perfume. And the main notes are Neroli, Marshmallow, and Rose. Now, if you don't know, the original Love Don't Be Shy is allegedly the, the perfume that Rihanna wears, allegedly. But to me, this one is actually better because it's not as sticky sweet, if that makes sense. It's actually a gourmand that you can wear in spring and summer, which is kind of rare. It's super fun, it's super easygoing, it's super youthful as well, but not in a childish way. It's just easygoing, good vibes. If you had a color to me, that would be like a baby blue. I really, really love it, guys. I'm obsessed with it. I'm almost done with my sample, and it's the number one on my wish list. Okay, so next we have an affordable one, and it is Burberry Sheer for her. So guys, main notes of this one are peonies, lychee, and musk. It was one of my first perfume. I didn't put it in my perfume collection because like, look at the dent, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it was one of my first perfume and it's perfect for spring. It smells very clean. If you're looking for a clean perfume, definitely check this one out. It's very clean, very feminine, very fresh, but it doesn't smell lemony. To me, it's like a more refined version of Versace Bright Crystal. It's not offensive, it's bright, it's cute, it's happy. And also I would say it's like Chanel Chance, but more aquatic, basically. So definitely check it out. It's a big crown pleaser. It really has that getting of shower vibe, but it doesn't smell cheap to me. So check it out and it's very affordable as well. So the next perfume is a perfume I used to own and I'm thinking about getting a new bottle because I wore it lately and I was like, I miss it and it's perfect for spring. And this perfume is Twilies by Hermes. It smells like ginger, a bright sunny day. It's very sophisticated, super pleasant. It's really, it smells kind of posh as well. Um, I think it's perfect for the spring. It kind of smells like flower. And I know there's not pollen in it, but it kind of smells like flower and pollen. You know when you walk out and there's like pollen outside and the flowers are blooming? That's how this one smells like. Beautiful, beautiful perfume. Um, I think I'm gonna get a new bottle of it. Definitely check it out. It's perfect for spring and it smells very sophisticated. The next perfume I have is Mon Paris by YSL. Oh my God, guys. This is a strawberry, patchouli, berries. It's like sweet, pretty, outgoing. It's super juicy. It's like you're biting in berries, you know? and then they threw some patchouli in there. It's obnoxious, but it's not like juvenile or annoying, if that makes sense. And guys, actually, I'm not a biggest fan of patchouli, but I love it in this one. I think this perfume is beautiful. It's a beautiful spring perfume. Every time I've worn that one, by the way, I've had like compliments and I've had, especially for men, I think men really like that one. It's very feminine, uh, kind of in a way like, you know how Juicy Couture is very feminine? It's kind of similar but it's like she's a baddie, but she's really sweet. The opening is like expensive strawberry, and then the dry down is this like fruity patchouli, but it's like clean patchouli, you know what I mean? Oh, I love it. As you can tell, another one that I didn't add to my collection, that I didn't show in my collection video because the dent was so big, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful perfume. I wear it every spring. It's also one of the first perfume I got. Definitely check it out. 
Mopari by YSL. So next I have another perfume that I've been sampling for a while and that's on my wish list and it is Love Tuberose by Amouage and guys it smells like you have to like tuberose to like this perfume but it smells like creamy tuberose. It smells like very posh. The main notes are whipped cream, tuberose, and jasmine, I believe. It smells like you're a posh kid, you're innocent, you don't have a care in the world, and you're spending vacation on your father's boat. That's how it smells like, and I love it. It's so optimistic, it's so happy, and I think it's perfect for spring. If it was a color, it would be like a super light yellow. It's really like whipped cream and tuberose. It's a beautiful, beautiful perfume. It is a niche, so definitely check it out. It is Love Tuberose by Amouage. Next perfume I have on my list is Cassili by Parfum de Marly. And guys, oh, okay, this is basically a more tropical Delina. The main notes are plum, tonka bean, and mimosa. It's weird because there's no peach listed in the notes, but it smells very peachy. It smells like a tropical oriental summer perfume. It's super easy going, super young spirited. The dry down is very like sexy and oriental because of the tonka bean. It's very warm as well. It has a lot of warmth. I think the bottle is like the perfect description for the perfume. It's really like a light orange perfume. Tropical, easy going, very, very warm. Definitely check it out. It is Cassili by Parfum de Marly. All right, next is another perfume that I have on my wish list for the year, and it is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Basically, this perfume is mint, weed, and rose. <laughs> and it sounds like kind of weird, right? But it smells so carefree. It's very unique. I don't smell this one on a lot of people. It smells like you're drinking some green tea and then you have somebody's cutting like fresh roses next to you. That's how it smells like. I imagine spring that when going to Coachella, you know? It's very natural as well. If you don't like synthetic scent or anything like that, definitely check this one out. It's a beautiful, beautiful rose perfume. It's on my wish list and it is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. The last perfume on my list, it is Gucci Rush by Gucci. And guys, I'm obsessed. It is in the contender to become my signature perfume. It's an amazing perfume. It's sexy, out there, it's... Oh, it's beautiful for, for, for spring. It kind of smells like fake pineapple, fake peach. It's basically like a obnoxious, fruity patchouli perfume, but clean patchouli. It smells retro. It smells like you don't have a care in the world. It's playful. I'm obsessed with this perfume, guys. And I think I found it through Mila Leblanc, I think. I've been wearing it nonstop. I think it's perfect for spring. Guys, it actually smells like your 20s you know how in your 20s you're like <laughs> like i'm in my 20s right now but if you're already past your 20s you know how in your 20s you do whatever you want you don't really have a care in the world and you're kind of like partying a lot um maybe spending more than usual it kind of smells like like that it smells like excess that's why i love this perfume it smells like excess it's obnoxious it's kind of rude it doesn't have a care in the world definitely check it out for spring gucci rush by gucci all right guys so that's it for my video if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and join us and i'll see you guys in my next video